the drought causing problems for pumpkin producers across the state, could it impact some of your favorite fall plans? First News reporter John Rutter finds out. Three-year-old Henry is on the hunt, and he can show you how to pick that perfect pumpkin. What makes a good pumpkin? Um, green. Henry's got a lot to choose from. It's been a good year for pumpkins in this part of Ohio, but elsewhere, it's not been the case. But we're blessed in Northeast Ohio to have the moisture that we had. Some parts of the state did not receive that and are struggling to have nice crops. Just last week, the U.S. Department of Agriculture declaring 22 Ohio counties natural disaster areas due to severe drought. The hardest hit locations have been parts of southern and eastern Ohio. This year, almost all of our crops are ahead of schedule. Um, we just had that beautiful summer, and so everything has been maybe 10, 12, 14 days ahead of schedule. In the event the dry conditions did play a role here locally, White House Fruit Farm uses an irrigation system to make sure the pumpkins get the water they need. We have found for our pumpkins the very most successful is to use a drip irrigation. So a drip irrigation brings that water right to the root system instead of watering from above. So we're not wetting the plant, we're just putting that moisture down where the roots are. Typically seeds are planted midsummer, but this year they got a head start, allowing for pumpkin season to start earlier and for Henry to have his pick. He was very excited Yeah, because he likes looking at the tractors and the pumpkins. How many pumpkins do you need? Um, five. Reporting in Canfield, John Rudder, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.